Hi there, Johnny here from Johnny Lips from studios.co.uk and welcome to this next episode in the Studio One 3.5 series. And in today's episode, we are going to be looking at exporting and mix down options that are brand new to 3.5. So if you're a session musician like I am, or you do freelance uh, MIDI programming as I do, I need to have a way to be able to send tracks quickly to uh, clients all around the world, wherever they might be. Uh, and the new options that you have in Studio One 3.5 just make it very, very easy. So I'm going to show you some of the ways in which you can do that now. So let's take a look at this MIDI track here. Um, it's a tenor sax, but you could do this with any MIDI sound. So you could do this with drums. If you do uh, a lot of drum programming, which I also do, um, then this would work perfectly. And then you can just send the MIDI track off. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at this. So I'm going to play the track uh, and you'll hear this very roughly improvised, uh, not very good tenor sax solo. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So we've got this tenor sax part. Now, let's say we want to send this as a MIDI file to a client. Well, that's now very, very easy. So I can just select this event here. I can right click. And in this dialog box, you've got some new items here. You've got export selection. So I've just selected that track. I can do export. And then to wherever I want to send it, say I'm sending it to a client, so I put it in this client folder, call it tenor sax, and it sends it as a music loop. And then I just hit save and off it goes. And then my client will pick that up out of the Dropbox and they will be able to drag that MIDI file uh, in. And if they have like another sampler that has um, say um, an even better sampled sound, then they can use that. So that works beautifully. And it's very quick and very easy to send MIDI files that way. I could do the same with MIDI drums. I could send that off. I could do the drum programming here and then they could use, um, and I could use what I use here and then they could use something else. They could use Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer or whatever um, to uh, play the part that I had written for them. So that's very, very easy for doing MIDI. Um, but there's also a, a nice quick way as well to bounce a MIDI track down now, uh, which is great. And it's called mix down selection. You may have just seen it there, but if I select the same track, right click, you've got export selection, bounce selection. We've always had control B, but now we have mix down selection. So I could select a whole bunch of tracks here and I could send them as individual stems very, very quickly and easily by doing mix down selection. Uh, and then they, it, they re -im, uh, import into the song. And then I could just, one thing I could do, uh, is I could just drag them straight and direct into my Dropbox folder. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's do mix down selection. Let's hit that. And boom, it's mixed it down. It's done it to a stereo file, but that's okay. I can change the mode, select the event, and then I can do control B to bounce it. And there we have it in mono. Job done. And now when I play the track, <laughs> Now one thing you'll have noticed there is that Studio One is very clever. Although I had forgotten to mute the instrument track, that's okay. Because having mixed it down, it's muted the MIDI track. So it's not even playing, which is very, very clever. Um, so I don't even need to have to worry about doing that anymore. So now that I've got this, let's rename this. Let's call this, let's call it tenor sax. And now we've got our WAV file, tenor sax. I can go to files. I can go to Dropbox. I can go to my client folder. And then I can drag this straight and direct to the client folder like that. And boom, off it goes. 
and then I just don't need to worry about it. Although it's called its it's called itself mixed down four there. I don't know why it's done that, but I'll fix that later. Um, I can go back into the file by Explorer, and I should be able to rename the file. There we go. Rename the file. And rename it to tennis sax. Okay, that. Job done. There it is. It's in the client folder. Client can pick that up later. Job done. So that's one way that I can very quickly export a track to a client. So I've converted a MIDI to audio, then I've sent that to my client via Dropbox. Let's take just a regular audio track. So on this bass track here, um, this is a uh, precision bass. We just play the track in solo. Nice little groove there. Um, and I believe I have Empire running on this track. So I can go in, I can edit Empire, I can uh, brighten up a little bit. So I can uh, make all of my adjustments that I want to make, add a little bit of gain to the output there, close that, close the mixer. I quite like that. Now what I want to do is I want to go and, uh, let's take solo off, right click, mix down selection. And there we have it. It's a bass track. It's done it to stereo. It always defaults to doing uh, a mix down to stereo, which is, um, which is okay, I guess. Not entirely always ideal, but let's just play this track again in solo. So it's printed the Empire settings that I had on this track. So this is really, really good for me uh, when I'm doing my bass sessions. I can set up Empire how I like it. I can get the bass tone I want. I can print that all to the track. And now I could send that off. So if I was to rename this um, bass mixed, which is what I usually do. I call it bass mixed when I'm sending a track off to a client. Call it bass mixed. And then I can do the same here, drag it straight to uh, that client folder. There we go. Rename file, base mixed. Now I could also rename the event here where it says mix down six. I could rename it here before I send it off. That would be a quicker way to do it. So you can do that if you so wish. Okay, so there you have it. Bouncing down MIDI, sending off MIDI, uh, bouncing down um, with the new mix down selections so that you can send off session work to clients. It's faster in Studio One 3.5. So I hope you found this helpful, and until the next video, bye for now.